All right, fans. Let's do another update here. It is Labor Day. What have we gotten done today? Well, we got the stove out. So there it is, all empty. Uh, I took the fresh water drain or uh, faucet off because it's a little too loose. That was a bit of an adventure. Of course, we're still working on getting the boat empty. The V-berth is about as clean as it can be. Davina's going to do, doing a great job at that. Say hi, Davina. Hi, Davina. Hi, everyone. Um, what do we got going in here? Open these up and see what's up. Oh, look at that. Nothing but holes in the boat. I broke out the uh, bravery and did a homemade way of the guys. It's hard to see with the light all shining through there, isn't it? Um, the guys at the yard said that, uh, let's give a quick shot in here. Oh, it's looking a lot wider just in the camera. Everything's super clean. Looks great. We really don't even need to paint. One thing that we were looking at here is check this out, guys. So, there's all these screws there. You see how it looks kind of broken there? And there's putty in the bottom corners of the anchor locker there. And there's, it's all cracked right there. It's cracked there. Oh, and this guy is loose. This guy here. It's not loose, loose, but it's been cracked. And then back here, there's a bunch of screws. And see, it looks like so. I'm thinking maybe impact in the, in the bow. And it buckled it a little bit and broke some of these shelf bulkheads things. So that's fairly interesting. I don't think it's anything to worry about, but I think eventually, I think eventually I'm going to rebuild the V-berth. Do something different. Um, what else did we do? So anyway, most of my uh, triumph, besides figuring out how to get the stove off, and Davina did that, um, and getting the engine room pretty, pretty much clean. Nothing going on in there. All right, let's go on the outside, outside of the hole and see what's going on. It is a mess. All the backing plates—they all pretty much came right off. Really wasn't bad at all. Everything really came right off. Some of the screws on the, all the screws went through the hole. As you can see on all these through holes I got already. Let me see here, it's kind of sunny, so let me take a second to focus. There we go. So there you go. See the screws I got, well, they're not all ready. I gotta get the Dremel in there and get those set screws clean. I hope you guys can see that. So I did that on all of them, all the way around the boat. And uh, one, two, three, four on this side. I got these, uh, they're supposed to be for grounding in a lightning storm, these lead plates. I didn't grind that, I need to. I got that all off of there. Um, mostly I can get away with some thick sandpaper. Here's, here's the bucket of mess. Uh, I can't see it. Disappointing. I'll pull something out of here. Here's all the through holes that came out. There, the, yeah, this is the through hole itself. And here's one of the. And they, that's the one that broke off the T handle. So yeah, whatever. I know I'm gonna end up getting new ones, dude, because they're so frozen. Anyway, punctured. Like I said, I punctured those blisters, and over here they're still flexing, but it seems like. There's still some wetness in there. I just pushed, there you go. See that? So, but it seems like after they breathe for a minute, they get hard. And like this one, it's been open for a long time. And it's rock hard in there. So, if somebody can tell me that uh, it's gonna do mass damage, spend it a couple months in the water after I've pierced them, um, Maybe I'll do something about it, but otherwise I'm just going to drop it in the water and go to Mexico. <laughs> but anyway, when we do this, see how you can tell the different layers? There's a little line all the way around. And see, I went to that second layer of fiberglass. I might have to do a little more here, see how this isn't, in, isn't all the way down. But it did pretty well. So, 
So I'll hit it all again with some sandpaper just before I go to town on it. But uh, I had to cut some of the, the bolts off, the screws I guess I should say, that went through some of the, uh, some of the uh, through holes. Like I said, every single one of them were through the hole. So this time I'm going to put these guys into the backing plate and then glue that down and just have this hole. Apparently that's the way to do it. So we'll all learn together. And uh, it's a nice Labor Day. Lots of people. The restaurants. Getting their day on. Having a day off. Me too. So uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.